What up everybody, it's your boy MC Bod and I'm going to Portugal right now. See right now I'm in London, I'm in my auntie's house and it is 1.30 and I'm taking the coach to London Stansted. Um, I'm currently filming off my iPad right now because I've already packed my camera. So yeah, let's leave a secret to you guys, it's like the first time I've taken a proper holiday. Well, not like a proper holiday but the first time I'm taking a holiday to somewhere I didn't have a nationality to. Also, I'm filming off my iPad so there might be gaps between like the footage I shoot because it's 1.30 a.m. in London. I'm not about to put my iPad out. And I got an Android, so I might as well be showing you guys CCTV footage if I'm going to be shooting off that. So yeah, my voice is also kind of low right now because my four-year-old cousin is upstairs sleeping and my auntie will be mad if I wake him up. Like, look at his picture. Well, that was from years ago, but... Yeah, you get how young he is. Next time you see me, I might be at the coke station. So, later. Is that good? Yeah. So, yeah, we are on the coach to Stansted now. Now I'm filming off my sister's phone because my stupid ass left my iPad in my bag. <laughs> so, yeah, next time you guys hear from me, I will be at the airport. If, actually... No, if something interesting happens on this coach, like if someone tells a tantrum, I'll probably video it for you guys, because you know. Why not? This guy was see. the most extra. Like, <laughs> the most extra. I don't think you guys realize. Should I have my sunglasses Alright, guys, we're at the airport right now. Um, that was a bit of a rush from the. It's a bit of a rush from the car back to. The gate because we're not sure what we're doing basically. We're kind of lost initially. And now we're having breakfast at Giraffe. I don't know if I'll get copyrighted for this music in the background, but if I do, you'll help me find it. And anyway, you see the amount of shops we have to go through between security check and the gate. I just women trying to sell me dreams about how this perfume is my destiny. I'm not gonna lie, though, the perfume was gone. Oh, color perfume sounds like I should say pause on that, but you know. Cola was bomb, like it was literally called something bomb, spice bomb, I think. But you know, mass broke. Not cheap. Or both. I'm not really sure what I am right now. I know I'm a student and I paid every month for an actual decision, so I can't be afforded, so you know that bomb ass cola. But you know it is what it is. Sorry, now I'm going to be quiet. Now on the flight, um, I think this is the first flight I've ever been on. I didn't have a business, no first class class. So yeah, that's interesting. Also, I just found out that Ryanair is like privately owned. And my mind got like over 24 planes. Like, damn. I know it's an airline, but still, like, right. are you sure it's privately owned? Huh? Are you sure it's privately owned? It must be with a name like Ryanair. Anyway, guys, I'm probably not going to vlog most of this flight because I need to conk out either that or watch a hit my reward. If you haven't watched Hit My Reborn, you need to watch Hit My Reborn. First 20 episodes are a bit <gasps> you wanna kill yourself, but you know, live through it. Also one time, can we agree that potato wedges are the devil? Like they're like chips that tried to graduate but did it. So what what are they? But again guys, if my voice doesn't sound proper or it's too low, two reasons. One around a lot of people and I don't want to freak yeah. all of them out and two I haven't slept since yesterday like since I woke up so I'm kind of mm. my voice is suffering guys I'm suffering and basically I've been singing all day so it's not helping my voice at all but I'm gonna more like croaking this girl is actually evil anyway um <laughs> yeah I'm gonna fall asleep probably when we land in Faro, yeah. if I come through, it's lit. Like transition. Alright, guys, we landed. We're in Portugal. What's the name? It's Faro. Faro Airport. Faro Airport. I don't know. Okay, see, like the English. The... It's like saying the airport is in Guagualada and we're going to uh, uh, Maitama. So we're staying in Maitama. The more you know. So get this here, when the plane landed, I was asleep, like, sound asleep, like, con yeah, like, that kind of asleep. And it landed with, like, a kind of a shock wave, so, 
when he landed, it was like boom, and he started shaking. And then the first thing I hear was little kids go, Whoa! So in my head, boom, shake, and kids screaming means we, we, that's it. Our time has come, our clock has, is over. My heart, yeah. It like I, I can't I can't explain it. It was it was too terrifying. I your here was trying to give me breathing exercises on how to survive, but yeah. Whew! That was intense. And then we go to like the e passport things and we scan our passport but the cameras couldn't detect our faces. Well everybody's faces. Well no not everybody, it was just our faces. Yeah, but some people left it cute as well. What does that mean guys? We are headed to the hotel now and we got like the coolest driver right now. It's like twice my height, but he's still pretty damn cool. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in bed. To the clubhouse, clubhouse. see how the boys them a drop down. drop down. And all the ladies just the holla say, say, holla say. Them no no say what holiday. If you don't so just take a busy make you know they fall. No they fall. This night the song for the dancer. The way you move your body, girl, it be like say, it be like say. You no no say what holiday. Now the way where you they do the things you do, oh. it be like say you get plans for me and you. Oh. If I put it on you, you put it on me. Oh, oh, Tell, as you can see, man's changed like. When we came in, I was tired, I was jet lagged, my head was hurting, like, ugh. So man showered, man's clean as hell, and we're about to hit the town. We got a self-catered um, apartment, so we're gonna have to buy our own food, do all that. And then we got a event planned, so you guys are probably gonna see us like do parasailing, skiing, and all that. Just to make y'all gush a little bit, look at the view! Like I can literally throw a rock and it's at the beach. So like it's not really like a hotel place. It's like you kind of rent an apartment depending on how your budget is. Your apartment's you know, great. Whatever. I don't know. I'm rambling. <laughs> and yeah, that's the pool. It comes with the whole complex. But as you can see, there are hella old people in there. So you won't find me there. Yeah, one of the first things I noticed when we came into the complex was there's so many elderly people here like no shade to them have a good time but i don't know if i'm being an asshole about that but every time i'm in a place that's oversaturated with like elderly people or two young people i get a bit uncomfortable so i think maybe it's because it's not summer break so you're not getting a lot of people like in my age bracket around like some of them are probably waiting to summer to come to you know portugal but there are a few of them around, but not as many as I initially thought, but it should be expected, I guess. Um, but old people, I mean, if it's oversaturated with a lot of people over 35, or like a lot of kids below 16, I'm just like, ugh. But yeah, I don't know. Do you guys feel the same way? Am I just being an ass? Like, let me know in the comments below, because, yeah, I want to See, know. I love my sister, yeah. Like, to death. Not only... Did she take forever and a half to get ready? Now we're trying to take eternity and a quarter to take pictures of her. Like I can't, I can't, I can't lie though. The scenery is kind of bomb. This, the scenery is bomb. Like y'all check this out real quick. Focus. There we go. And there she is again, taking eternity and a bit. But you know, she's family and I love her to death, but damn. So get this here. On our way to the complex, our cab driver told us, to well, he pointed resort. us to the results. Our cab driver pointed out this very good Chinese restaurant. According to him, he said apparently it's the best Chinese buffet here. And we spent like at least a solid 30 minutes just walking around 
no man's land trying to find it like there are hella shops everywhere and you do it like they don't signify if they're open or not like you just have to kind of guess and just walk in what's she doing yeah. so get this yeah we spent like a solid 40 minutes looking for that Chinese restaurant and it turns out it's not open for another three hours so that was wasted time so now we're just at like a basic pub place pub cafe place uh, kind of disappointed Loki would really wanted that Chinese but you know it is what it is we can have on our dinner thing yeah, we'll have it later, like a few days from now. So yeah, it is. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I really wanted to film during lunch, but it was kind of low-key underwhelming. I think because that wasn't the Chinese we really wanted, because obviously that place was closed. But like, the dessert was bomb though. But by the time we had gotten to the dessert, I was so like in a zen mood that I, I forgot to take my camera out. Sorry guys, but it was, it was actually kind of live. It was the first time I had it. I didn't even know what it was called, it was just their dessert for the day or something. And also, it's something I didn't think about, but when you're traveling with your opposite sex sibling, a lot of people tend to think you're dating, especially when you don't look alike, like my sister and I don't look alike. It was kind of annoying, but at the same time, kind of low-key funny. So like, throughout the whole day, we try to come up with every excuse, like any chance we could get to bring up a brother or sister, not boyfriend and girlfriend, we took it out. <laughs> yeah it was actually kind of hilarious now my sister and i were separated she's in the apartment she's chilling she's probably gonna take a nap in a minute i am like on this mountain ish place like off the coast and i just want to use this opportunity to say a few words um this might be the beach and the whole zen holiday thing talking but i really love you guys man i recently reached 74 subscribers and that's a madness like to a lot of people that's not a lot but bruv when you're in those when you're in the the shoes of a tuba see i can't even talk when you're in the shoes of a tuba and you start from zero and when i hit 74 it was like the biggest deal i legit check my subscriber count every day every day and when i hit 74 i don't know what it is about 74 it's like i'm so close to triple digits but i'm not and it's kind of exciting that 74 of you or it might be less now and maybe someone unsubscribe because they don't want to like watch my stuff anymore which is actually fine if you don't like, want to watch my stuff anymore i mean to each their own but all of you that have stayed 74 of you or about 74 of you came to my channel saw something you liked and clicked subscribe like that's that's a madness man like that's crazy Y'all giving me such a sense of accomplishment that I'm, can't, I'm speechless, guys. And like, shout out to my friends, the Three Kings. They just reached a one year anniversary on their channel. And I went to their party that they had to celebrate, and the feels they had, they had a whole speech and everything. And it was like the coolest sense of accomplishment. And I want that. You guys make me feel I can have that. And I really, really appreciate you guys for that. Also, another my, one of my friends from year 11, um, she's also on YouTube. I don't think I've ever talked about her on my channel. I'll leave a link to her channel. It should pop up in the suggested, like in the right like, corner right now, you can see suggested, and that should be her channel. But um, she may, but she is like, she just reached like, bleh. I really can't talk, guys. I'm hella speechless. She is opening or has already opened depending on what time you're watching this video her eyelash company and her fans and everybody made it possible for her everyone that supported her and she's been on the tube for a while and i'm i'm so happy for her you all don't even know and that sense of accomplishment i see you know my friends i want that and you guys honestly make me feel like i can have that so thank you so much guys for that all my viewers all my subscribers y'all honestly the best like you too much now that all the mushy stuff is kind of gone for now um thank you guys for watching this video um, my first time trip to portugal um hopefully tomorrow or the day or two days after i release this video i will also have a first time water sports because tomorrow well tomorrow for me right now my sister and i were going parasailing we're going jet ski riding ufo 
And then the day after, we're going on a cave adventure and we're also going to be swimming in the sea and doing all sorts of craziness. And um, just to backtrack, if you don't know what a UFO is, is um, basically when you sit in this big ass donut on a speedboat and then they just they just leave and then your donut is like just moving helter skelter. So yeah, I'm gonna try and video that. I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to edit because I can't really video on like why I'm on a jet ski, why I'm on um, why I'm parasailing, all of that. So the company that is handling it are gonna do all of that. So I'm gonna have to get the footage from them and then incorporate it into like a vlog or something for you guys to watch. And also it will feature my sister as well. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this. I love y'all. Thank you for all you who stuck with me for so so long for the three years before the MT bot started when I was chatting I was gonna start this YouTube channel all of you that were like I sh that pushed me to do it thank you so much all of you that stuck to this video to the end I don't know how long it is until after I edit but thank you it's probably a little bit long and I ramble quite a bit so thank you for that I love y'all see y'all later